Hello, greatness. You are welcome and tuned into Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Stay tuned for another inspiring episode from your host. And now, let's welcome Dr. Vincent Alpong. Hello, mighty one, the son of the king who spends money fearlessly. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Um, this is the book that we're out. This is our last lesson, lesson number nine, um, from the book that we're out, read by your humble brother, Vincent Dupont. Um in the last lesson, we talked about how to behave as a king's son because you are right living in that consciousness that I am a king's son. And he gave an example of how the princes of this world living in a lesser kingdom consciousness even live as though all things are theirs. They spend, they do things freely without any um, sense of lack or limitation. And that is supposed to be the consciousness and the mindset of us who are sons and daughters of the true king of the universe, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. And now, lesson number nine, use money fearlessly because that seemed to be the limitation of so many people. Let's go on. The quickest way to rid your mind of that old fear of want, the fear of your job, the fear of the power of money, is to have an absolute trust in your heavenly Father's love and care and for you to pay out gladly your last dollar for a needed thing knowing that by so doing, you make it possible for him to supply you with plenty, plenty, plenty more. It is as if your needs must keep the stream of money ever flowing. If you would not clog up its sources for money, in its true sense, is the means for the perfect expression of material life. Even as the blood is the means for the perfect expression of physical health. In both cases, your mind must not only hold true and pure thoughts, God's thoughts only, but them about the material life of yourselves and others and about your physical well-being. But you must know that God's mind is the source of all true thoughts. And by perfect faith and trust in him, you thus keep yourself open to the free circulation of his thoughts in your consciousness about both your affairs and your body, thus creating perfect health and harmony in both. Mm. This has been proven by so many tithers, people who tithe, who give 10% of their income. He said they have created a consciousness where they know that by using money freely in such perfect trust in God and especially in thanksgiving and love and gratitude to him, giving freely a percentage of their income to that part of his work, which is bringing the truth to them. They become greatly blessed in this world's goods and are put in the position where they can help many souls to come into the same truth. It is the pinching and holding on to your last dollar Fearing that no more will come 
that actually prevents you from receiving more. Because remember, it is more blessing to give than to receive. For giving more than anything else helps to open the channel so that supply, both spiritual and material, can freely flow. Now, we wish finally to emphasize that the application and proving of this great law not only will bring financial freedom and success, but it will bring also perfect health, harmony, and happiness into all departments of your life. For when you begin to think only true thoughts about yourself, then, of course, God's consciousness lives in your body and his thoughts will rule your mind. And there can manifest only perfect health in your body and perfect harmony in all your various affairs. When naturally, happiness must sing in your heart and be your daily companion. So my dear friends and brothers, we have given you this message, one born of an intense yearning to finish to those who are wandering in the darkness of present world conditions, a sure guide to lead them back into the light of love of abiding trust in God and true happiness in life. My goodness, I will take this part again. My dear brethren, we have given you this message, one that is born of an intense yearning to finish to those who are wandering in the darkness of present well conditions the sure guide to lead them out and back into the life of love, the light of love, of abiding trust in God and true happiness in life. In the mighty, matchless name of the Lord Jesus, I love you and I'm super excited about the next book that we are going to do, which is the way beyond, the way beyond. There is a way out and there is a way beyond. In the way beyond, you are going to see that God is within you and that God is all in all and that God is, hmm, that one I will pause. <laughs> and the next one, I will not say it. And there is a simple law and an absolute letting go and imagining the God you. My goodness. And that Christ consciousness. Beloved, join me on this journey as we discover and uncover the real truth that has been hidden from the church for ages and has now been taken advantage of by the people of the world, applying it to their life and making their lives better physically than us. And even when we go to the realm of the spirit, it looks as though we are still lacking because we lack the consciousness of our true identity. I love you and I believe in who you are. That is why I call you mighty and greatness. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next book, The Way Beyond. God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Heirs of God TV, Perfecting Saints, to become like Christ. Thanks for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on becoming all you were born to be.